Welcome to the Orchestra Team's Drupal Basics series. This video is going to be covering how an internal user will log into a Drupal site in order to do things like administer the site, create content, or access restricted areas. Most sites do not have an apparent area for a user to log in in order to perform these functions. For example, this sample site here for Portland Community Media has no apparent way for users to log in and create content. In order to do this, you have to go to the default URL path for this user account. You can do so by going to your address bar typing in your root domain name, in this case pcm.orchestrateam.com, and then adding a slash user to the end of it. After the page loads, you'll see a nice login area in the middle of the screen. At this point, you can edit, you can enter your valid user credentials. Now you're logged into the site. You can go about your business as a logged in user with all the rights and privileges you've been assigned. This login section only appears if nobody's currently logged in from your computer. If someone else is logged in, you'll be accessing your user page directly, which is the page we're seeing now. You can also log yourself out by clicking on the log out link on this page. I suggest bookmarking this page so you can easily return to it the next time you need to log in. Additionally, from this page, you're able to edit some things about your user account by clicking the edit link. Here you can change some information about your username, the user's email address, password that you're using, and whether or not you're active. Also, if you're an admin, you can change your roles and your theme and various, various other things. Thanks for taking the time to watch our video. If you have any questions, please contact us through our website at www.orchestrateam.com or by sending an email to info at orchestrateam.com. Have a great day.